Life in 2023 is so hard such that cars like the VW Polo are now expensive. Finances are tough, shame. Maraita Kini. Welcome to another video. The VW Polo is one of the most loved vehicles in Mzansi. So in this video, I'll review the model I think you should buy. The Polo Life. The Polo Life either come as a manual or automatic, and both models get a 1 litre turbo engine. The manual gets 5 gears, while the auto is a 7 speed DSG. When looking at the power and torque, the manual produces 70 kilowatts and 175 Nm. The auto on the other hand produces 85 kilowatts and 200 Nm. The fuel consumption is claimed at 5.4 liters per 100 kilometers. It is highly unlikely that you will get these figures in the real world. The top speed is 187 in the manual and 200 km per hour in the auto. If there's a term I use in the video that you don't understand, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to explain. Before we continue with the video, if you love this kind of content, then don't forget to like comment and subscribe with that being said let us go through the exterior features of the car at the front the life gets led headlights as standard which is really impressive for 16,400 rands extra you can upgrade to matrix led headlights which make the car look even better the life gets front and rear parking sensors as standard and rain sensing wipers are also standard. On the side, the life gets 15 inch alloy wheels, but if you pay 5,100 rands extra, you can upgrade to 16 inch wheels. A space saver spare wheel is optional, so is the sunroof which will set you back 15,400 rands. At the back, the car gets LED tail lamps and overall the Polo looks fire. This is why despite its high price, it is still one of the best selling cars in Mzansi. A reverse cam is optional and it costs 5,550 rands. A cool feature about this car's reverse cam is the fact that it is housed inside the VW badge. So if you put your car in reverse, then the badge opens up. This is a cool feature, but I can only imagine how much it will cost to fix it when it eventually breaks. Let's move on to the interior. The design of the interior looks fantastic. I don't have anything to criticize, as this is a class leading interior. The car gets cloth seats as standard and you can get leather seats even if you want them. A leather multifunction steering wheel is also standard. This makes it easier to control music and any calls you might receive while driving. The life gets a smaller digital cockpit as standard but if you pay 3,100 rands extra, you can upgrade to a larger digital cockpit pro. As standard, the life gets a 6.5 inch radio with the option to upgrade to an 8 inch radio if you pay 9,750 rands. I haven't even gone through half of the specs, but you can already see the theme. VW's endless options will be the end of us. Maraita Kini. Looking at more features, the Polo Life gets manual air conditioning and there's no option to get climate control. App Connect is standard in the Life, but if you want wireless App Connect, then you need to pay extra. 
I feel like there's no need to go for wireless app connect, but it's your money. So what can we see? Regular cruise control comes as standard and the fancy adaptive cruise control system will require you to pay 13,500 rands. Navigation and wireless charging are also optional. The options don't end there. There's a comfort package which gives you keyless entry, park assist where the car parks itself, and a reverse cam. This option will set you back 16,350 rands. When looking at the practicality, I think for a small car the Polo is fantastic. The boot space comes in at 351 liters. You can fold the rear seats in a 60-40 split to get even more space. Rear leg room is fantastic and you won't have a problem sitting for adults even if they are all tall. The car gets two USB ports at the front and another two at the back. You also get a 12 volt socket in the center console and the front center armrest is a storage box where you can store smaller items. The life costs 375,400 rands for the manual and 397,500 rands for the O2. Obviously, this car comes with a lot of options, so be prepared to pay over 400k, which is really big money. The car gets a 3 year 120,000 kilometers warranty and a 3 year 45,000 kilometers service plan. For the cost of ownership estimate, I'll assume that you are buying the manual and the only option you are taking is the sunroof. This is the one option which I feel like you really need to have. This takes the price of the car to around 391,000 rands. If you finance a 391,000 rands car at the current prime lending rate of 11.25%, over 72 months with no deposit and no balloon payment, then you'll pay a monthly installment of around 7,492 rands. For comprehensive car insurance, you can expect to pay around 1,800 rands depending on your risk profile. If you spend 1,500 rands on fuel, this takes your total cost of ownership to around 10,792 rands each and every month. I honestly can't believe that we now live in an era where you'll pay a whole 11k for a pool. Life is really expensive, shame. Maraita Thank you for watching.